10 on your side is looking into a diversity and inclusion action at a local university that backfired. Students from Elizabeth City State University reached out to us upset after the historically black university created a Caucasian student email group. I listened to the students' concerns and reached out to the university. Welcome to the Caucasian Student Group. This private group invite popped into the boxes of more than 700 students at ECSU on Thursday. I just feel this was a, a poorly thought out idea um, and it just it just so happened to to have been executed in a way that hit very deep with all of us. Junior Keegan Williams showed us the email from Vice Chancellor for Diversity and Inclusion, Dr. Tiffany Hinton. It states the purpose of the group is so that she can share important university related identity based information with the student, such as student association, scholarship and inclusion group meetings. Student Lauren Jackson emailed me to say, honestly, it seems more exclusive than inclusive. To see, you know, an important official of this school basically take the demographic off of our applications from when we were first freshmen and use that to group us together. It was a little degrading to say the least. Hours after the email group was created, ECSU sent out another email ending it, saying the identity-based affinity email groups were developed for students at their request. The university also sent Wavy an email stating the groups were developed to create space, build community, and promote a sense of belonging within the ECSU student body and were not intended to separate or marginalize any person or group. While Jackson is glad to see the group shut down, she also would like an apology, telling Wavy, I would have been fine with it if they said, hey, we messed up, but their response only tried to justify their actions. I would like to see the university focus on things more pertinent to running university and, and let the student body kind of handle themselves. I reached out to Dr. Hinton and ECSU to request an on-camera interview. They chose to provide only a statement. And you can read the entire statement on wavy.com.